JavaScript Obfuscation JavaScript is a popular and powerful programming language that is supported by most modern web browsers. It's used for a variety of tasks from authenticating users to monetizing websites. It's not just a pretty wrapper around HTML and CSS, it's essential for modern web programming. What is deobfuscation? Deobfuscation is the process of removing the obfuscation features from a program. Oftentimes, this is done to audit a code base to make sure it's properly licensed and in compliance with best practices. But it can also be done to analyze a code base to identify duplicate code and encourage future improvements. Typically, the goal of deobfuscation is to remove all the extra information that may have been added by the original author without their knowledge. The importance of deobfuscation. When a developer writes code, they usually don't know where it'll be used. For example, a checkout flow in a web application may use a lot of variable names and expressions that are unique to that application. But the author might not know that the checkout algorithm will lead to different results on different websites. This is an example of an obfuscated JavaScript code. That's where deobfuscation comes into play. By removing the variable names and expressions from the source code, the developer prevents others from accidentally introducing those variables into their code. This is an example of deobfuscated JavaScript code. Why deobfuscation is important? When you spend time in a code base, you're using that code as your guide. It might be a novel idea in one organization, but in another, it might be considered an old hat. In either case, the code should be treated as if it were written by someone else. After all, it is. When you work in a team, it's essential to write clean code. If someone else has to mess with your code, you want that person to be as gentle with it as possible. That way, you can continue to make improvements and new features without having to reverse engineer the entire server. When you don't know where your code will be used, it's much easier to make changes that follow best practices and local precedent. When you know where your code will be used, you can more easily aim for maintainership and avoid common pitfalls such as naming conflicts, typos, and inconsistencies.